Hey awesome ones, Heather here. Let's talk about some fun in the sun. And you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, you know, would I wear makeup just laying around in the sun? Oh, of course you wouldn't, but you'd be putting on your SBF and your SBF uh, lip balm, whatever you could find. However, you know, sometimes I'm invited to a really nice dinner at an outside patio, or maybe it's one of those lovely resorts where I want to wear a little bit of makeup. And if, if you're like me and you want to wear a little bit of makeup, I got the video for you and it all starts in just a few seconds. So I'm going to focus on the foundation and blushes and that sort of thing. I'll already have my eye makeup on and if you're wondering, I wonder how she does her eye makeup, well I'm going to put a link up there to help you, especially if you have kind of older eyes, you know, those hooded eyes happening, that's going to help a lot. But if you are, let's say you're going to um, a wedding and it's outdoors or maybe it's one of those destination weddings, you know, down in the Caribbean or something like that, um, I would suggest that your mascara that you wear, and this one is a Revlon mascara, uh, Revlon Grow Luscious Plumping Waterproof Mascara. And be just because you don't want to get that transfer and the, the waterproof really helps helps out with that and you know you got the the raccoon eyes kind of happening there. Um, also this is Revlon Color Stay eyeshadow and it's a cream and what I find is that these creams they kind of last a little bit longer and so uh, that might be an idea for you too. So if you're like me and you are going to something fancy and you're going to be outside in the sunshine I'm going to do the application for the thicker foundation with still an SPF of 50, so that's going to work for you. But maybe you're just, you know, I'm like this too, I'm just chilling. I'm just uh, going out to a patio and uh, having a few tacos or something and I just want a lighter foundation. This is a tinted SPF sunscreen, so you're getting two. Two videos in one. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm going to take off this foundation and presto changeo. Let's see me without any foundation. So here I am with no foundation. I've got my under eye lines. I have my age spots. Uh, the whole darn thing. But hey, I got to keep it real for you. All right, so for a little fun in the sun, you might want something really, really light, like a light foundation. So I'm going to be doing two for you, a light foundation and then a heavier one. For the light foundation, I found this Garnier umbrella and it's an SPF 60. So that is a great thing to use. It's really just a tinted sunscreen and uh, I absolutely love it and that's a lot of strength for your face, a 60. Now uh, what about those under eye, you know, circles that we have, our age spots, all of that sort of thing. Well what I would suggest is to use a cream um, a cream concealer. You don't want to use some heavy matte sort of thing because that's a very very light uh, foundation. Now for this I'm, we got 10 of them, well I guess we got 8 of them and a thumb, but anyway we're just going to use the fingers and what I'm going to do and, and uh, maybe we can zoom in a little bit here is I have this kind of purpley part in my eyes that I really don't like so We'll just put a little bit of concealer in there and we'll put a little bit on these lines, these shadows underneath my eyes. And I'll just do the other one real quickly as well into the purpley part. Now again this is very very natural. Now if you can see with a close-up here Take a look at that age spot. Like it's like a giant size freckle. So I got to put a little bit on here and cover that baby up. And the same with all of these other age spots that I have. Very light. Basically all I'm doing is that I'm making it look about the same color 
as the rest of my skin. It sinks. Look at that big guy. Ugh. Okay, so the concealer, you can see, is very light. Let's start putting on that tinted SPF sunscreen. All right, now this is super, super thin. You're going to know, I can't even show it to you with my hands upside down because it's just, yeah, see? Check that out, it's just running all over the place. So if you were to use a beauty blender or a sponge or anything like that, it's literally just going to soak up all of this tint. So time to work it with your fingers. Remember, it's really, a, a, it's very light, nice and light and it's a very light foundation and this is what I'm gonna do. Just carefully put that on. And this is, uh, yeah, my face is getting red when I put it on because it's a strong sunscreen, but it will, it'll go back to normal. So we're just trying to blend that color with the concealer a little bit. Cover up the spots. If you want to go a little heavier on your really bad age spots, it will do it. But it's not like a matte foundation at all. There we go. I've kind of covered it all up. Now let's keep on with the natural kind of look. So we don't want to put all kinds of powder and contouring and everything like that on. So what I have here, it's from Clinique and it's called a Chubby Stick, oh, what is it called? Chubby Stick Chick, ch chick. well, you know, it's for chicks anyway. Uh, cheek <laughs> Color Balm. And this one is, uh, what is it? It's Amped Up Apple. And it's really fabulous because it's just like a, well, it's like a great big lipstick. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna use our fingers on this and very lightly kind of dab and rub it in. So you just got a little something, something, and if you want to do a little bit for your, you know, to emphasize your cheekbones, you can do that there. But it's just giving you a little bit more, a little bit more of a rosy cheek kind of thing. So I'll just put a little bit over here as well. And also, creams seem to be not only a little bit more natural, but uh, it'll probably stay on uh, lovely too, so yeah. Now let's do something about the lips. And I found this, I think I'm pronouncing it right, low in fi. And what it is, it's like a lip tint for the lips. And so there you go. Looks really nice and a natural color for me. Um, definitely use a lip brush with this. You don't want to be using your fingers. Um, this is also waterproof too, which is kind of neat. So I will not need to do a lip liner. Again, I'm doing something very, very natural. So just a little bit. I don't know if you can get a little bit of a close up on this, but I'm just going to go just ever so lightly. Isn't that nice and natural? Step two. And step two, I found this lip balm that's an SPF 30. And you know what? The sun does damage. So let's make sure that we've got a lip balm that also has an SPF in it. And watch what it does to these kind of matte looking lips. It just kind of sparkles them up a little bit. So there you have it, a real kind of easy, breezy kind of foundation. Looks really natural, covering up some of those flaws that I have and age spots, etc. But, you know, what, what if you're going to be invited to a fancy outdoor wedding or an outdoor event? You want to wear a little more foundation and really kind of cover up and maybe have something that'll stay on for hours and hours. Well, I'm going to wash this foundation off and be back in a few minutes, or a few seconds as far as videos are concerned. And let's do a Presto change out and I'm gonna show you a heavier foundation. All right, so my face is all free of foundation again. 
I still have the eye makeup on and well that lipstick it stayed on or the lip tint stayed on fantastic so really really happy about that now don't forget you'd probably my eyes are still done um, you may want to wear like a uh, waterproof um, <laughs> waterproof mascara but also don't forget to wear your sunglasses you've got to protect yourself from all of those UV rays and besides when you wear your sunglasses, you look totally cool, darling. All right, so let's talk about that thicker foundation to cover up all this stuff big time. Well, I must say that I haven't really found a lot of foundations that are really super with SPF that I thought were great. So what I went on the hunt for instead of that is I went on a hunt for a primer and this is fantastic this is from MAC and it's an SPF 50 so what you're doing is you're putting the primer on your face and I've used this with all kinds of different foundations and then you're just putting the foundation on top of it so I'll get to that in just a second so of course you've got the MAC and you can also use the MAC foundation but I gotta tell you, I am loving this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I really do love it. So that's what I'm gonna apply on myself today and uh, also with the matching concealer. And it works amazing with the MAC primer. So let's put the SPF 50 primer on our face. And it's just like, you know, anytime you put on sunscreen, uh, this is the kind of consistency it is even smells a bit like sunscreen so you know just pretend you're at the beach and away you go you might want to put a little bit extra on that nose if you're like me I don't know my nose just loves to get burnt um, I'd also put it underneath I know we're putting concealer underneath our eyes but we want to protect everywhere so everywhere the Sun is going to be beating on us we're gonna put it there there. Now, as I mentioned to you, <laughs> alrighty, as I mentioned to you, um, this is kind of expensive. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to be putting it all on your neck and on your arms and on your legs because super expensive. Just get a inexpensive, but maybe an SPF 50 or whatever, depending on how long you're going to be out in the sun and use that for the rest of your body. Now you should let this kind of settle in a little bit and uh, now's a good time to tell you that pretty well all of this makeup we are going to find the exact same makeup uh, primer and we're going to link it underneath the video below and you'll be able to purchase these if you want to be safe and have some fun in the sun. Now I'm supposed to tell you this, that <laughs> we make a little bit of commission on our sales and uh, I got to tell you something. Thank you so much for that because it, it really helps us to keep buying up all these products and showing you what we think are the best ones out there for, well, for us. All right, so that's sunk in now. Uh, let's go to the concealer. And again, I'm wearing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. And this particular color is Light Cool. So it's got a great applicator and I want full coverage. I'm at a wedding, I wanna look good. And the one thing about Estee Lauder, which I love, I have tried it out on video. Actually, I'll put the link for the video up there or up there for you to take a look at and it stayed on for 12 hours and when I tried it out I was under hot lights I went out in the freezing cold I went grocery shopping so it really really stayed on and it covered fantastic so let's get working with the concealer up in my purpley part maybe we can get a little closer angle on this and as you know I love this concealer brush. So we're gonna go in there and it just smooths out so nicely, this concealer brush. Under eye circles be gone. All right, and also for covering up those spots. Isn't that great? Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I'll be back to you in just a second. 
All right, so we're gonna let the concealer dry again a little bit. And you know what I'm noticing? Um, the SPF, uh, maybe you can get a little close up here because this is gonna help a lot of you that have rosacea. I'm noticing that my skin, I got the concealer on, but I got a little bit of redness here. You know, that SPF 50 is kind of making my face a little bit red, but um, I'm going to put on this amazing Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which is covering that right up. And I'm going to use a little sponge like this. You know, sometimes I'm using beauty blenders and uh, that sort of thing. So maybe we can get a long shot on this. And I'm just gonna kind of go over all of my makeup. And uh, here we go. And this is 1W2 Sand is the color. So, it's very nice consistency. <laughs> I just use my hand as a little palette here. And we're going to start putting that on. Now I have eyebrow brows done, so it's gonna be a little tricky, but we'll make it work, right? Okay, so here we go. And when I'm done with this, I'm gonna look pale, but I'm gonna be happy about that because we gotta still put on our blush and everything, so. And notice that I'm dabbing this on. If we were rubbing it into our skin, well, we might be rubbing off some of the SPF, so, and maybe rubbing off some of our concealer, so we don't wanna do that. A little bit down here, just patting it on. And when the end of this, you probably won't see any of that redness, which is good. Now when I put my makeup on, I usually don't get into these marionette lines. Oh my God, marionette lines, how lovely is that? Um, because, you know, they'll start to crack inside there. So I kind of leave those little areas alone. And let's keep on putting on makeup. And what I usually do is I smooth it up with the clean side and right down my neck a bit. And people have been asking me, you know, what color should I get for my foundation? Should I put it on my wrist? No, don't put it on your wrist. That's not your face. Put it on around your neck because you want your neck to be the same color as uh, the rest of your makeup. Yeah, that's doing a nice job covering up all that redness that was there. I know you're going, oh my gosh, she's so pale. But I don't have my blush on yet, so we'll be good. All right. And there you go. Okay, I look pale. <laughs> Let's get going on the blush. Uh, isn't it interesting? You know, I covered up the red part of my face just to put blush on. Like, what's up with us? But anyway, use whatever blush you like. Um, I really like this Clinique uh, blush. I really think it's pretty. And uh, don't put too much blush on, but you're just a little dab will do it on your the rosiness of your cheeks here, or the apples of your cheeks, or whatever they call it. There you go. Now I also put a little sprinkle here and here, because I don't want to look too pale. But um, also, let's do some contouring. And I love this L'Oreal Infallible, because it's, um, it's a dual. It has the uh, highlighter, and it also has the contouring. So for right now, I'm gonna use, I don't like the brush they gave you, by the way. It's a silly little brush. So I'm gonna do the contouring. Ooh, I'm getting ready for that wedding. <gasps> a little bit here. We know that our noses grow. <laughs> Along with everything else that happens as you age, your noses grow, isn't that lovely? And your ears too. And dare I say it, I'm going to put a little bit on those jowls. <laughs> All right, I hate that word. A little bit down the side. Isn't that a lovely matte makeup? I just absolutely love it. Oh, and you know what? We got a little sparkle sparkle here. We're going to a wedding after all. So let's put a little highlighter just here. Just here. And how about using a little brush like this and put a little sparkle sparkle between our eyes. And hey, if you're enjoying this kind of video and you're not a subscriber, just click on the button below, uh, the subscribe button, and don't forget to click on the bell and you'll be notified about the videos. And usually I'm doing videos for beauty and fashion, appearance, all that sort of thing every Friday. 
So if you're thinking, you know, I'm out there in all of that heat, what if my face gets super shiny? Well, the good thing about the Estee Lauder foundation is it kind of gets dewy. It doesn't get super oily or shiny. However, I have noticed with myself that for some crazy reason, I get really, really oily underneath my eyes here. And for that, I have my secret weapon. It's this Revlon Photo Ready anti-shine and it is fantastic. It's so much better than, than any kind of powder because it's a cream. So I, I don't look too shiny right now. I'll maybe just put a little bit on the end of my nose if there's a bit of a shine there and watch this. Like it just, it just takes all the shine away. And underneath my eyes, if I've got a shine there, I sometimes put it on as a preventative measure, but I keep this in my purse. And I gotta tell you, I just, if I get shiny, and it's because it's not powder, it's not going and accentuating and drying out my skin and accentuating my wrinkles. It's absolutely my secret weapon. And so of course, don't forget to bring along some sunscreen with you and just keep on applying because we really, I mean, those rays are doing a lot of damage. They're doing a lot of damage to our skin. Uh, to our eyes if we're not wearing sunglasses and we've got to protect us. You know, in the old days, I used to think, well, I got my makeup on. The sun's not going through my makeup, but it's so strong, it's doing just that. So protect yourself. All right, so it's time for the draw. <laughs> Look who joined me. This is my favorite part. <laughs> well, it's not your favorite part when you have to go through every single comment from the cover girl, Olay commercial, that, or commercial, sorry. The video that we did and cut out every single one of these, but. I don't mind, because yeah. it's for you guys. It is. I, I don't mind that. Now this um, cover girl primer, I absolutely love it. It's simply age. Simply Ageless, Anti-Aging, and it is amazing. Now it does not have the SPF, but for every day, you know, going to work or every day sort of thing, this is a fabulous primer. So I hope you enjoy it. Whoever wins, Bill, you cut them all up. You I, go ahead and pick the winner. I wish I could pick all of you guys as winners, <laughs> but sadly only one. So here we go. I have to look up high so nobody <laughs> thinks I know what I'm picking. And they all feel the don't same. Drop, don't lose Did I drop any? No, no, you're good. All right. Go. Okay, so here we go. It's Betty Kaufman. Congratulations, Betty. Betty. Please put me in the drawing for the primer. I really enjoy your videos. Well, thank you so much, Betty. And uh, we'll get in touch with you and we'll tell you how you can get your primer. So congratulations. And we will have more giveaways. Not every video, but... Mm -hmm. uh, we love giving back a little bit to you guys. Okay, so I want to talk about upcoming videos and at this time, it's time to bring in the cuteness factor. Hey, Hurricane. Yes, yes. And little Hurricane is wearing his special little hat because you like to have fun in the sun too, don't you? So just before we talk about upcoming videos, are you joining me on Instagram? I'm just, in, I just love Instagram. I'm putting up a picture every single day or a quote and really, really giving it a lot of thought, making it inspirational for you. So I think you just search Awesome Over 50 or at Awesome Over 50 and I'd love you to join me there every single day. And just as a reminder, on uh, Fridays we have the beauty and fashion videos. On the Tuesdays we have inspirational videos and food and fun, all that sort of thing. And upcoming videos? Well, boy, do we have a surprise for you. We are going to be taking a trip to Europe or the UK. And so, and we're gonna be doing a video or two or three or maybe five on it. So uh, stay tuned for more information about that. And other videos that we have up our sleeve, how about waterproof? waterproof makeup so you can go swimming and come out looking just as fresh as a daisy or whatever so we'll be doing that as well and uh we also have videos that are coming up on one of the wonders of the world natural wonders of the world so 
Hey man, we're just enjoying this so much. We really, really enjoy what we're doing for Awesome Over 50. I really hope you are too. And in the meantime, keep it safe out there in the sun. You know, make sure that you're protected. We want you all back nice and safe and healthy. And until next time, keep it awesome.